Okay, what is up tycoons? What's up traders? Super excited for today's video. We're going to cover Nano Dimension. All right, Nano Dimension is a 3D printing stock that's also in the AI space. So I know AI, artificial intelligence stocks have been gaining a lot of attention and a lot of momentum in the stock market here recently as ChatGPT has really popularized and brought to you know the attention to masses of AI and the capabilities around it. Now, Nano Dimension, if you don't know, uh, recently, about a month ago, they announced a new patent for its cloud manufacturing platform by its AI slash deep learning group, Deep Cube. So we're going to dive into that. We're also going to take a look at some of the fundamentals of Nano Dimension, as well as the recent stock prices. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And we're going to jump straight into it. Please remember, none of this video is financial advice. So just because I give you guys some information and tell you and inform you about the stock, uh, ultimately, it's up to you to decide what's best for you and if you want to invest into something. Um, now, as I mentioned, they uh, announced the patent okay, for their AI and more specifically relating to the neural network that supports its cloud-based manufacturing platform. The granted patent relates to cluster-connected neural network. All right. And this patent and the technology around it allow DeepCube AI solutions to run more effectively on a distributed network of 3D printers deployed throughout the world. This model for manufacturing is ever more critical as the manufacturing enabled by Nano Dimension will be more and more decentralized. Thus, the technology has to run effectively wherever it may be. This patent adds to an existing library under DeepCube, which now has 20 granted and 20 filed pending. Nano Dimension as a whole has over 81 granted and 194 filed. Now, if you're not familiar with them, okay, Nano Dimension, ticker symbol NNDM, their vision is to transform existing electronics and mechanical manufacturing into industry 4.0, environmentally friendly and economically efficient precision additive electronics and manufacturing by delivering solutions that convert digital designs to electronic or mechanical devices on demand, anytime, anywhere. Nano Dimension strategy is driven by the application of deep learning based AI to drive improvements in manufacturing capabilities by using the self-learning and self-improving systems, along with the management of a distributed manufacturing network via the cloud. They serve over 2,000 customers across vertical target markets, such as aerospace and defense, advanced automotive, high-tech industrial, specialty medical technology, R&D, and academia. The company designs and makes additive electronics and additive manufacturing 3D printing machines and consumable materials. Additive electronics are manufacturing machines that enable the design and development of high-performance electronic devices, high PEDs, Additive manufacturing includes manufacturing solutions for production of metal, ceramic, and specialty polymers that uh, specialty polymers based applications from millimeters to several centimeters in size with micron precision. Throughout the integration of its portfolio of products, Nano Dimension is offering advantages of rapid prototyping, high mix, low volume production, IP security, minimal environmental footprint, and design for manufacturing capabilities, which is all unleashed with the limitless possibilities of additive manufacturing. Now, this is their stock right here, how it's performed on the year. All right, um, uh, year to date, it's up about 11.64%. So 2023 has been a decent start for the year for Nano Dimension. Now you can see it actually ran up uh, above $3 here and it's had a recent pullback OK, the announcement of the uh, AI patent was over right around this area here around February 8th. And you can see afterwards it had a really, really big move up. And a lot of that momentum from the AI patent has gone away. But here recently, the stock has rebounded even more. Now, uh, it, it, one thing that I really want to highlight here is the market cap. OK, so this is the market cap of the stock. Um, it's at six hundred and sixty six million dollars. Now, if we head into the financials, okay, and we take a look at some of their financial statements, look at their cash on hand, right? Their cash and short-term investments is at $1.2 billion, according to their last earnings report, right? So 
the company is worth less, the market cap is less than the cash and short-term investments they have on hand of $1.02 billion. So that's really, really interesting, right? When you take a look at their total assets, it's at $1.28 billion, and then they have about $44 million in liabilities. Now, one thing that's worth noting is that the year-over-year -year change, their cash and short-term investments is down 26%, but their total liabilities is up 54%. So the liabilities are growing, okay, at a pretty fast pace. They still have a bunch of cash on hand, um, but, you know, that's something to pay attention to, all right, is the liability is growing and the rate at which they're growing. Now, when it comes to revenue, all right, they're 600, they're up 646% on a year over year basis. Their operating expense, uh, their OPEX is also up about 44%. So, you know, their liabilities are increasing, their operating expenses increasing, but their revenue is in, uh, increasing at a pretty nice pace as well. Uh, their net profit margin is up 50% year over year as well, but ultimately their net income is negative 267%. Um, so, you know, if you look at the EBITDA year over year, that's about negative 26%. Um, and, you know, I kind of went into the uh, net income already over here, but you can take a look. The cash from operations was negative uh, 22 million. The cash from investing was about negative 300 million. And the cash from financing is about um, negative 800, uh, close to a million. Okay. So um, even though Nano Dimension has lost $54 million in market cap in the last seven days. As I showed you on that chart, you know, it, it had a big move to the downside. Shareholders are still up over 244% over three years. Given that Nano Dimension didn't make a profit in the last 12 months, we'll focus on revenue growth to form a quick view of its business development. Shareholders of unprofitable companies usually expect strong revenue growth. As you can imagine, fast revenue growth, when maintained, often leads to fast profit growth. In the last three years, Nano Dimension saw its revenue grow at 76% per year. That's much better than most loss-making companies that are unprofitable. Along the way, the share price gained 51% a year, a solid pop by our standards. This suggests the market has recognized the progress the business has made, at least to a significant degree. That's not to say we think the share price is too high. In fact, it might be worth keeping an eye on this one. The company's revenue and earnings over time are depicted in the next image. And that's what we're going to look at here. All right. And so in blue here, we have the revenue over the past three years. And we can see it's growing. All right. Um, over uh, On their last earnings report is at $39 million in the year. Um, their revenue. And then we touched on the earnings, right? Negative 300 um, the free cash flow is negative 93 and the cash from operating expenses is about 80, negative 80 million. So, you know, these are declining, um, but, you know, the revenue has been growing here. And as the article previously mentioned beforehand, this is something that, you know, you pay attention to that you're looking at for profitless companies that aren't profitable yet. Um, now, this bear market has not been kind to profitless companies and companies that aren't profitable yet. Companies, uh, the stock market cares really much about earnings right now. They want to see, um, you know, they want to see profitable companies. So that's why, you know, certain stocks like this, uh, if you take a look, you know, throughout the year of 2022, a lot of these stocks had really, really poor performance and NNDM was included in that. Now, I appreciate you guys making it to the end of this video. I actually hold this stock in my 50K portfolio challenge. So if you want to see my thoughts on it uh, and what I'm doing with it, as I actually just sold some and I have plans to do something else with the rest of my 100 shares that I own in that portfolio challenge, make sure to click on this video here and you guys can see all the different stocks that I'm holding, the stocks that I cut out of this portfolio and just get um, you know a little bit of an idea on some of the things that I'm paying attention to in the market. Of course, not financial advice. Don't try to copy anything uh, that's in the videos. Rather, use this as a basis uh, to really get some information and start doing some more of your own research and see whether or not something is worth investing for you.